is Maria Prairie. I'm the Chief Operating Officer at Wello. One of the things about being at home and working is that I no longer get the time or the ability or the opportunity to actually physically go to work and leave work and have that uh, time to prepare and that time to decompress before I walk in the house. And so one of the things that I've really focused on is making sure that I get out every morning for a walk before my day starts. I have a little dog, my husband and I go and we walk along the Humber River in Toronto. Um, but it really helps me to delineate between kind of that leisure time of getting up in the morning and now I'm actually ready for work. I do something quite similar at the end of the day. I close my computer, physically close my computer and have dinner with my family, we spend our time, and then we go back out again for another walk. I find being able to get out of the house really helpful, um, and it certainly helps to make sure that, you know, I've got other things that I can focus on. So I'm naturally a, an optimistic person and quite happy and glass is half full. So that, I think, particularly in circumstances like this, uh, gives me a bit of a leg up. Um, however, there's a lot going on and, um, you know, there's a lot of scary information. There's a lot of fear about health and those that we care about. And so I really work hard to look for those triggers that are causing me stress. And then once you can identify them, it is much, much easier at that stage to deal with it. And so I don't allow myself, I don't enable myself to go down the rabbit hole of feeling really sad and very stressed. If I am going in that direction, I will reach out to a friend to have a chat. I will go for a walk or um, you know, ride my bike in the basement. I will do some things that will enable me to take some time out just for myself so that I can regroup, I can re-energize and then come back to the table and feel much happier about it. One that's become a little more complicated over the last month because both of my children came back from university. So the desk that I was using was in one of their rooms, which enabled me to get up and close the door and leave it. I'm not in that situation anymore. As you can see, I'm now in my, my dining room uh, working. And so I have actually been quite rigorous about making sure that in the morning I have my routine, I keep that routine. At the end of the day, um, I will physically shut down my computer which then enables me to go and have dinner with my family and do some evening activities with them. Um, or even if it's just sitting by myself in front of the fire and reading a book. So, you know, I've tried to put boundaries in place uh, in terms of the start and the end of my day. Um, the days are very busy, so it's difficult to do during the day. But I also remind myself that spending a couple of minutes speaking to somebody is no different than I would do typically around a water cooler at work. And so those are the kinds of things that I had tried to put in place to enable me to have some boundaries and to set some parameters around work time versus home time. We do that actually in a number of ways. We spend a lot of time connecting uh, over Zoom and other video conferencing, and that enables us to physically see somebody. You know, I really go out of my way on one-on-one -on -one conversations to start with an open-ended, how are you doing? Um, and asking some detailed questions, making sure I'm connecting with them, not only about themselves, but what may be going on around them. That's where you'll get those nuggets of concern come up that you can provide support on, that they feel supported through. So I think that's a very important thing. When there are group uh, meetings and group Zoom meetings, uh, we go out of our way at the beginning of our meetings to talk about value stories. And they're based on the values at In Live and Willow that we live and eat and breathe every single day. And so through that, you get a lot of inspirational information. You get uh, kudos being given to other team members, but it helps us to kind of step back for a moment and remember what grounds us, which are those things that make us special, those things that make our organization special. And so we also spend a lot of time finding opportunities for laughter. Laughter is the perfect um, de-stressor. And so, you know, we're always doing little jokes where we, we don't mind if a child comes into the, into the Zoom meeting with us um, because we want to make sure that people know that, you know, we are living this crazy life where 
work and home are somewhat blended. And as we do that, we have to be um, accepting and aware of those things that happen in a home environment. And we laugh a lot. We find every single opportunity to laugh and to find humor and support each other. And that really goes a, a long way in making us all feel better and feel supported. You know, it's a really interesting and scary uh, and a bit of a crazy time in the midst of COVID. It's the first time in our history where we had a global uh, event that has had such a profound impact on our ability to interact and socialize and go to work and really live our normal day-to-day uh, -day lives. And I've been especially um, proud to work for an organization that actually can be at the forefront of supporting people. It is a difficult time. Certainly it can be quite scary, um, but I have ultimate faith that we will have learned some really important lessons as we move forward into the future. You know, from a team point of view, the team I believe feels very supported and they know that we can accomplish tremendous things because we're a team. And I think that those lessons are not unique to In Live In Wello. I would believe, and certainly from the people that I've spoken to, many individuals are learning things about themselves, their work environments, and I think we'll do things differently. One will also hope that not only will it be different, but we will be more effective, we will be calmer, um, and we'll be able to get accomplish more things because of what we've learned through this process. You know, we hope that there's not another pandemic in our lives, but there may be other activities and other events that will have this kind of profound influence and effect on us. And we've now kind of, we're going through it, we're making it. Um, and so that's really what I take from this experience.